one of the biggest questions that we get is what do you do when you go to those conferences and trade shows so let me show you it's day one in columbus well we actually drove up to marengo ohio today because one of the most important things we can do is actually visit other nurseries and garden centers and get inspiration and see what they're doing and what works for them and take some of those ideas back to our garden center so today we are visiting groovy plants ranch now this is one of i'm pretty sure five stops that we did on day one at different nurseries and this was my favorite throughout the day i really love how they just invite you into a beautiful garden space right off the bat as soon as you get to the parking lot it is just landscaped beautifully all around and that was kind of one of the big themes of this place is it was just spectacular now i've been following them online for a couple of years now and i know the owners liz and jared and i've not ever been to their place and so this was really fun actually getting to see it in person because it was just really really beautiful plants beautiful displays everywhere they had this airplane that was crashed out by their perennial section and kids can go in there and play they got it planted up they've got it painted i mean who else does stuff like this I was also really impressed with their signage. They do produce all of their own signs in-house. They were very detailed and informative and beautiful designs. And of course they had just a huge selection of plants, house plants, they had different kinds of succulents, another Volkswagen over here, this time it's a beetle. But this place was just jam-packed full of adventure around every corner. And they also specialize in highly unusual plants that you don't find other places. In fact, I was kind of wishing that I didn't fly there so that I could grab some plants and take them with me. But unfortunately, did not have a lot of luggage space to be able to bring plants back. And one thing I loved is even if you weren't really a plant person, if you were visiting with your spouse, there was so much to see there. There were really cool cars around every corner. So if you're a car person, you could see that. If you're into art, they had amazing murals. I love this area right here where they can host events. Or if you just want to take a break and sit in the shade or maybe color with your kids, that space is open too. And to wrap it up, they do have a children's garden over here called The Shire, and it's kind of a work in progress, but they have done a ton already over here, including building an actual hobbit house that you can go inside, you can climb on top of it. Who wouldn't want to do this as a kid or an adult and see this beautiful playhouse? But I just love this place, and we'll be back soon.